does it mean to be holy? How is God's name kept holy? I mean, these are questions Luther asks in the small catechism and large catechism. And first, you're probably going to ask why you say catechism, not chism. Santa Claus goes down a chimney, not a chimney. So, ha, there you go. It's fun times. But how is God's name kept holy? Well, we don't do it. Most of the time, we don't keep God's name holy because we're misusing God's name. We, we lie sometimes. We're deceptive sometimes. We're not praying all the time as we should. We're not keeping that second commandment like we should, always having truth come out of our mouths. So how is his name kept holy? Well, it's not us. We don't do it. God keeps his name holy among us. How does he do it? By granting us faith, by sending the Holy Spirit, by giving us good and faithful preachers who proclaim the word and its truth and purity, who distribute the sacraments in accordance with the gospel. That's how God's name is kept holy, that his name is used not to lie, not to deceive, not to condemn, not to curse, not to cover anything up, but instead his name is used to do what it's given to do, which is to save, to forgive, to nourish and strengthen. His name is kept holy when God keeps his own name holy among us. And we pray all the time that he may continue doing that so that we may continue to receive grace, forgiveness, and assurance that we are loved by our Father in heaven. Fun times.